Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see the storage classes in C. So, when we create a variable in uh, our programs, what we were doing is we were specifying the data type first. For example, you know, if you are gonna create an integer variable, then we're gonna write um, int, which is the data type, then the variable name. But there is one more thing that we need to specify which is the storage class the storage class is going to specify where exactly this variable will be stored which means whether in the stack or whether in the registers you know cpu registers what's going to be the initial value and uh, what's going to be the scope of this variable which, which means you know in which function we can access this variable and also what is the life of this variable you know how long this variable is gonna exist so you know you may ask like okay in the previous examples or in the previous tutorials we were not using the storage class you know and the compiler didn't give us any error that's because the default storage class will be used if you don't specify it and the default storage class is the automatic storage class so now we're gonna see you know what are the storage classes in C and you know and how we can use them so there are four storage classes in C one is called automatic storage class uh, which we're gonna see in this tutorial and then the register storage class then the static storage class and the external storage class the next thing is you know how to specify the storage class with a variable so before writing the data type of the variable we need to specify the storage class so in this tutorial i'm going to explain you know how to use this auto storage class what's going to be the initial value where this variable will be stored and also you know how long this variable is available and um, you know what's the scope of this variable if you want to assign the automatic storage class to your variable then you need to use the keyword auto just before you write the data type so you can see here in this example so auto int x so when we use the storage class as auto the variable will be stored in the memory and the initial value of this variable will be a garbage value and the scope this variable x is local to the block where it has defined so you can see here in this example i have defined this variable inside this main function actually when we talk about the blocks it's nothing but the you know cluster of cores between two curly braces so here you know if if i can uh, write these two curly braces here and um, here so this variable int x is available so this variable x is available within this block so you can't access this variable you know outside this block so as i told you before you know this um, the variable with the automatic storage class is local to the block in which it is defined so this is a block of code and this uh, x variable is available only within this block so the next thing is what's going to be the life of this variable it means how long this variable is going to exist so this variable x is going to exist till the control remains within this block so once the control comes out of this block you know the variable x will not be existing you know it will be deleted so now we're going to see that by writing a program so now i'm going to use the printf function to you know get the in default initial value so I'm gonna write percentage D then I'm gonna refer the variable X so I'm gonna save this execute compile and run so I can see here some garbage value is stored in this variable X the next thing I told is that this variable X is local to this block so you know um, the space between two curly braces so if I refer this variable X outside this block you know it will not be available so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this one and paste it after the after this block so make a note that you know we are referring that variable outside the block now it should give us a error so you can see here 
and x is undeclared that's because you know this variable x is not available in this block so you know it's only available here only okay okay this is it about the automatic storage class and next tutorial we're gonna talk about the register storage class in detail so that's it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i see you in the next tutorial